Hey everyone, Chef Shea Bear here. Today we're going to be checking out this griddle from Farberware that Monkey got for Christmas from her mom for me to use. So what we're going to do is we're going to try this out but we're going to make a breakfast bonanza. So let's get to cooking. Okay guys, let's go ahead and open this up and see what's in here. I believe this came from Walmart. I don't know how much it was how much it was, but So what we're going to be cooking, we're going to be having some eggs, hash browns, bacon, and sausage links. So, should be, should be pretty good. Alright, see how we can open this thing. So I gotta be careful here because these knobs on the stove are right here so you can bump them and turn them on by accident. It's happened before. I burned up a pizza box and almost burnt this box up a few minutes ago. The monkey sat down here for me and must have hit one of the knobs. It's real easy to do. That's why I wish the knobs were over here on the side, you know. Okay, so. Alright, so the packaging, yeah, you know, you got your your little dial here kind of feels cheap but farberware is but still okay we've got an instruction booklet here this is ceramic I do believe there's our drip tray catch all the grease all right now Sometimes you gotta heat these things up before you use them, so I'm gonna go ahead and check it out. See what we if there's anything we have to do before we start using it, and then I'll be back with you. Okay guys, so this is out. You can't use metal on it. So uh to flip the eggs, I'm not sure. I got a couple different items here. That's plastic, that should work. We'll see. Okay, so <coughs> it goes to 400, but it says not to go over 375 for whatever reason. So we're going to go ahead and we'll set this at 350, thereabouts. We'll use a little bit of olive oil. It says, it says to use oil or butter only. So I guess they don't want you using spray or anything like that. So, okay, so the first thing we're going to do is throw some hash browns on here. We was wanting those hash browns that, that are like in a patty, you know, but we can't find any kind of foods around here no more. We went to Walmart in the freezer section. This is no joke where the hash browns and uh, french fries are and they had 
they only had um, like one thing of regular french fries in there and two things of uh, waffle cup fries and that's no joke that's all that's all they had in there so I don't know these are frozen so around here All right. I probably should have thawed them and smashed them together I've never used these kind of hash browns before actually so I don't no. I'm gonna put some bacon on. I was gonna make some pancakes too, but I gotta be careful for Monkey because her sugar levels and yeah, I probably should have thawed these out mixed them up with a little flour so they'd stick together but we'll see how this goes so let's go ahead and we're gonna get our bacon on here got some of this bacon thought I'd try it I don't know if you guys have ever tried it but it looked like it was thick because sometimes well 90% of the time you get bacon that says This says thick cut and the stuff's paper thin. And it's like, wow, I'd hate to see the thin cut, you know what I mean? Oh, jeez. Supposed to be resealable. Now we're cooking, right? Okay. Now, get some sausages out. Put them over here on the side. <laughs> I'm flopping around. Then we've got bags, or bags, yeah, we got bags over here, we got eggs over here. Alright, now, we're just going to let this stuff fry up for a minute. And I'll kick you back on as they get done and we start flipping okay guys so I've already turned them once um, so what I'm noticing is I've got it turned way down uh, is when this thing starts heating up it it makes a real loud humming noise. I haven't turned these yet. I don't know if I can. Usually they'll stick together enough for you, but it doesn't look like these are going to. Slide them over here a little bit more. How do you guys like your bacon? I like mine a little chewy. Monkey likes hers crispy. I'm going to take these two center ones off for me right now. Also, if you guys are down here in Florida, you guys remember the 
sizzling the fake bacon I love that stuff let me know if you can find it down here because I cannot find it anywhere um, so Lucky sausages are about done. I'm going to go ahead and take them off. Because they'll still keep cooking once you take them off. Whoa. One got away almost. I don't know if you guys can hear that buzzing. But it's loud. It's the loudest one I've ever heard. I've owned a few of these. Electric skillets and stuff. And Mine was never that loud. And then it just stopped. You hear it? And back on again. So I don't know. It's just awful loud. Yeah, these aren't going to stay together, I don't think. Alright, let's put a couple eggs on here. I know they say don't do that, but two eggs. Can I fit two more on there? I think. Yeah, I think I can fit two over here. Okay, cool. It's not really a recipe. It's more or less trying out our our new thing. Griddle. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to flip these all in one piece. No, they didn't stay together. That's what I should have done. I should have thawed them out. Mixed a little, a little flour in with them that probably, yeah, see that? Probably would have stayed together better. So the hash browns are a bust. They're all going down in my grease pan there. Should have just made some homemade. We got potatoes in there, but whoa, easy there, big fella. It's looking like this side gets hotter too. And this side. But so far, I mean, is it okay? It's all right. I mean, I have had better, but I've also had worse. Also, let me know in the comments, how do you like your eggs? I like mine dunky, but not runny, and not overdone. About like that. Monkey likes hers the same way. Um, kind of between an over medium and over easy, if that makes sense to you. That one broke, so I'll take that one. I think monkey's bacon's about done here. I think the hash browns are almost done. Yeah, there's monkey's bacon. I used to make Bruno an egg every time I make eggs. He used to love them. Then all at once he just stopped eating them. He wouldn't eat them. So I am going to make him a piece of uh, bacon, though. So yeah, this thing is very loud. All right, let me get a plate for monkey here.
you hear some hash browns on here. If I can get them without them going into the chip. It's okay, I guess. See, these ones didn't cook as fast. So I gotta leave them on for a minute. That's okay. But let's get her some sausage here. Get her bacon here. <laughs> we go. It voila. Nice. Okay, let me get this into her. Let me get my eggs off. And I'll be back with my final thoughts on this thing. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys. There's my sausage, eggs, bacon, and hash browns. Uh, the, uh, wow, what a mess. I looked that up online. You can... You can get it for twenty two eighty through Walmart online. Now I know she went went there and got it, so uh, at least ours did have them in stock in there. So uh, let's say between twenty and twenty five dollars, I guess. Uh, for that, I mean, yeah, it's okay. I just don't like how noisy it is. It makes me nervous when electronics are that noisy, but I'm sure it'll be fine. But um, it worked okay. Um, one side got a little warmer than the other. I mean, it's hard to get them that's perfectly uh, even heat, you know, because of the heating elements have to run around a certain way. Now, I did have one. I forget what it was. Uh, it was a cheaper one, too. Now, it was almost perfect all the way across. There was a couple little sp cold spots on the edges. Other than that, the whole center was pretty good. This, I really can't complain about it. One side was a little hotter than the other. But other than that, it wasn't like, you know, I've seen some of the older ones. I remember my mom had one. We hated it because, like, I mean, it would just, like, have cold spots all over it. It was real weird. But this one seems to be okay. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I give it a thumbs up. And for that kind of money, sure, I, I would say go ahead and buy it. The... Um, like I said, you you know it's ceramic. You, you know they want you to use the uh, the plastic on it or wood um, or silicone, something like that. Don't use any metal on it. That's fine. Um, but so far, you know it seems to be okay. Longevity. I'll let you know. I'll definitely let you know if it breaks down. <laughs> but it shouldn't. It should be okay. So I got I, I got it turned off now. I got Bruno's piece of bacon over there, and so I'm gonna eat my breakfast. Let his cool down. I'll give it to him. And so, yeah, there you go. I don't know why I got you just sitting there looking at a plate of food because, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. Uh, this is a late lunch, <laughs> so it's like noon. <laughs> but monkey slept in a little, so I just let her sleep, and I just laid there, you know, and just kind of hung out. But that's fine. You can, well, sometimes, uh, well, quite a bit, really. Not quite a bit, but, you know, Often, I'll say, we'll, we'll have uh, bacon and eggs or sausage and eggs, you know, at nighttime. Breakfast is good at night, so um, a lot of times we've made pancakes and waffles and stuff, 9 o'clock at night. <laughs> I know uh, one morning, it was like 2 o'clock in the morning, I got the munchies, and I ended up waking them two up, her and her mom up, and I was making a French toast, so we ended up all having French toast by 2.30 in the morning, so... Anyway, guys, yeah, it's a, it's okay. Uh, I would recommend it for that kind of money. I wouldn't give no more than $25 for it, no. Um, you know, you can just tell the controllers. Remember, they used to be real heavy and magnetic. It's another thing I don't like about that one. I like the magnetic ones because if you bump it or trip, you're not going to knock. You're not going to knock the whole thing off and get it on you. It, the magnetic ones, like the electric skillets, if you bump them, move them something, it just unplugs that one doesn't so but that's okay I mean it's, it's it's not a deal breaker but yeah just be mindful of that I don't have to worry about it here because the cord goes up here so it's way out of the way so that's fine yeah for you know I wouldn't give no more than 25 for it seen one on eBay the same exact thing for 43 bucks it's like 
why why would somebody pay for double of what they could pay for it through and there was another one on eBay twenty five dollars and I'm like it's still more than you know what I mean than what you can get it at for at Walmart for the same exact product I don't get it and people buy them so anyway guys thanks for watching that concludes this episode of Shea Bear Chef Shea Bear uh, I'm not really a chef just like a cook so. I got an update on the uh, bonsai trees, so stay tuned for that. There will be a lot more on the Corvette and um, some more paranormal stuff. So hopefully here before long we can get some more camping and fishing videos in. So, But anyway, with that being said, uh, Shea Bear, Myth Man Legend, I'm gone for now. Hope you guys have a great week. Y'all stay safe, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys, and take care.